All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. I don't know why the mic is so far away. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I cleaned the apartment yesterday. I mean, it was a couple days ago, actually. So, hopefully everyone had a nice weekend. Uh, this weekend is actually going to be July 4th weekend, I believe. So, we're going to have a three-day holiday. And as you know, cryptocurrencies and markets usually, well, specifically cryptocurrencies, they tend to come down. Because it's just a three-day weekend. Everyone's just like, you know what, I don't want the risk. I want to go vacation or whatever without worry. I'm going to dump all my positions. So that is act that could actually become a big factor this week, especially because... You know, we got the economic report coming out this coming Wednesday. For some reason, I thought it was coming out tomorrow, so there's technically no point in me doing this video. Uh, but, you know, I kind of... See, I don't really feel like doing any crypto videos today, because there's not much going on. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow to make sure, you know, get a nice pick. Uh, but on the other hand, I kind of want to just put something out there. Alright, so... All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Right now it's 8.24 a.m. I mean, the markets are just slightly up, so it's really just not so much, uh, not really that much going on. So the Dixie's a little weaker. I do know that bonds were actually selling off a little bit. So, okay, so bonds are actually selling off a lot. All right, so the bond markets are continuing to implode. So I'm kind of curious to see, I mean, we kind of already know the Fed's going to just buy this all back up. Uh, but the problem is, everyone kind of knows, at least the smart money knows. Yeah, this thing's actually going up a lot, because when I woke up like a couple of hours ago, an hour and a half ago, the 10-year yield was like plus 5 base, uh, what is this, 0 0.05, so that's like 5 basis points. Yeah, so it was up 5 basis points, now it's up 6.6 .6 basis points, so it's actually up a lot, and it's actually accelerating. So I actually need to tweet this out. Uh, bond markets imploding again. All U.S. yields spiking. The ECB and Fed will only buy. Will become doomsday. Like. All right. So I just got to get that out there. All right, because one of the things that I find kind of weird is if things are going so well, how come I'm not really seeing crypto do well, right? Specifically, I'm not seeing DeFi projects increase in TVL except BNB miner. Everything else is declining. In fact, um, in about nine days, eight or nine days, I might remove all of the crops farmer videos, which I don't want to do from my playlist, right? Because right now everything is going to shit, right? I'm only going to do Titano and Spear, which is just buy and hold, literally, and BNB Miner, and then the rest. And the other half of my videos will wind up being like, hey, I'm shorting the stock markets. Like, that's how bad the situation is. So, all right, let's see. Uh, I don't know if I covered this last time. Uh, June 22nd. Ah, so they did kind of come up with the uh, stats. All right, so the Fed somewhere around down here said that they were going to reduce their balance sheet, but since then it's just been going back up. And obviously once they have to report that they've been buying up all this debt over here, it's going to show up in the Federal Reserve balance sheet here. So this thing is going to spiral out of control. And then the smart money should be able to figure out, okay, inflation is here to stay. It's going to go hyperinflationary. We need to dump all our shit. So, uh, we'll see what happens with the stock markets. I mean, it's probably going to come down today because this is going up, but then we kind of know that the central banks are going to come back in, most likely, and just buy up all the debt again. So, let's see. There is one new thing that I do want us to check, which is this. This is what Greg Manorino mentioned, and this was actually updated three days ago, so this is very recent. Uh, let's just do one. So, actually... If you look at the max, holy shit. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of see what happens. Like, this is coronavirus, right? No, coronavirus was the 2020, right? Spikes up, but it goes back down. But ever since March of 19th of last year, yeah, we can see a steady increase in repo. Uh, whatever the hell these things is, reverse purchase agreements. So what Greg said was, this is just a promise by the Fed to buy 
give us money now, and then tomorrow, or like in two days, I guess, we'll give you a little bit more. All right, we'll give you all the money back plus a little bit more. So this is like hyperinflationary. It's because like there's a problem with liquidity or something. All right, I still like using the M1 and M2 money supply because the curves look a lot steeper. But this seems to be what everyone's using. Uh, April, yeah, so we don't even have the data for May out yet. So, I don't know, it's not looking good. You got this going out of control, you got this thing going back up, and then, of course, you know, we know that the bond markets are being, you know, like, basically bought up by the central banks. In fact, I might be seeing, it might be happening right now. I mean, it is 8.30 a.m., so everybody's coming to work in the, you know, at least in the New York Fed. So, yeah, so anyway... I just want, to, just want everyone to know that, you know, we're preparing for this on June 29th. So that's in two days. So tomorrow I'll probably do another one of these type of videos just to see what happens. Uh, to be honest, I would just be very careful. All right. If, if they decide to lie on Wednesday and make everything look good and then everything goes up, I mean, we'll, we can enjoy our crypto project a little while longer, right? Um, but, I mean, it'll just be short-lived because when we get that inflation report July 3rd, 13. I mean, they could lie on that too, but it's going to be a lot harder because you got to get everybody in America to lie on the, uh, like, from the grunt worker on up. I mean, it's going to be tough. So, I, ha I actually also, before I go, I looked this, I looked this up. All right, so on June 29th, not only are they going to revise this uh, quarter one GDP number, which is right now negative 1.5%. <clears throat> All right. Uh, they're also going to come out with the estimate for quarter two, right? So, because that's that's what I thought was going to happen, right? But I couldn't find out. But apparently, that's what's going to happen. So we're going to actually find out this Wednesday if we are actually in a recession. Because right now, a lot of the markets are like the fake news is already trying to like play this up, like oh nothing's everything's fine, the economy's strong, we're not in a recession. But there is a recession. It's going to come next year or something like that. And then, and then, and, and then, what are you gonna do when this thing actually says we're in a recession already, right? You know, yeah, you can bet that's gonna move the markets. And I'm thinking it's gonna move the markets hardcore down. And any rally that I see, I'm definitely selling into it. So if this thing, if the stock markets go up, I buy a little bit more SPXS, right? Because I get it for cheaper. You know, in fact, it's actually really cheap, twenty four dollars. Actually, what's the? Uh, I can actually buy some more today. Yeah, the aftermarket is twenty four ten. Yeah, I'm going to see what happens with the stock markets today, and I'm going to buy a little bit more SPXS, but just a little. I buy like $50, $75, sometimes $100 increments, all right? And I'll be very careful because I do know that everything's being manipulated, and yeah, the markets are just des the, the gov Whoever's in government, it doesn't matter if it's Republican or Democrats, but right now it just happens to be, you know, Democrats. They are desperate to keep this thing, you know, up because... If markets, if stock markets go down, it doesn't matter who's in power. Everyone always just blames the people in power. So they're getting very nervous, all right? And they're pro and the Fed definitely knows that this is not good. I right, just look at this. Look what's happening in the debt markets. So I'm just kind of curious. What happens if everyone sells off all their debt, U.S. debt, and then there's no one left to buy it? That's the only thing I'm kind of curious about. So, yeah, I don't know. But I don't know. I guess because we're... USDebtClock.org. I'm pretty sure that's the thing. I just want to make sure I go here. Uh, the U.S. national debt is 30.5 trillion. Jesus Christ! Look at that debt per citizen. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty nuts. All right, so U.S. federal spending is supposedly declining, and U.S. federal budget deficit is also declining. Okay. Yeah, we're actually going into a recession. Yeah, things are going to get a lot worse. Because funny enough, this deficit going down actually means that our economy is going down, because the only thing that's propping everything up is this. <laughs> also, look at our GDP. It's also declining. Yeah. Yeah, look, actually, I'm going to link to this page, too. Look, our, GD, our U.S. GDP is actually going down, all right? You know why? Because that means we're, we're, ma we're making less money. You know why we're making less money? Because we're freaking effing going down the tubes, all right? That's why it's called a recession. 
at this point, I've already assumed that we're more than a recession. We might actually go into a, like a Great Depression type of scenario. Uh, yeah, and don't ever come to New York or L.A. It sucks here. I mean, it's not as bad as it looks, but on the other hand, it's really expensive and it's shit. And yeah, I mean, let's, you get lucky like me getting rent control apartments. I mean, just just don't come here. All right, it, it's bad. Just just find somewhere else. All right, anyway, I'm done for the day because I just want to get this uh, macro type of video out. You know, tomorrow I'll be back. I'll do another one of these videos. And then, you know, we'll cover some crypto projects. Or, in fact, maybe I won't do a market a stock market thing tomorrow because if it's the same as today, and then I'll just mention in the crypto video tomorrow, hey, let's go check out yesterday's video. It's the same thing. So, But I don't know. I mean, there might be some serious chaos. I mean, right now, the debt markets are, do are imploding again. All right, let's see what the Fed does. I mean, all right, I mean, I guess at this point, they just don't care about inflation, right? So, all right, we'll see. Because, yeah, I'm seeing it here. The stock markets really don't feel like going up that much. Yeah. All right. So, like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you again to all the uh, old and new people watching this video. And, uh, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, we're getting ready for a bit. We're getting for a really bad situation, so that's why I'm pivoting this channel a little bit, you know. I would still like to go back to, you know, just endless making money of crypto with DeFi projects, but that's just not realistic, all right? When we go down, and we are going down, all right, so no matter how badly and how soon, everything is going to go down, all right? Because if cryptocurrencies were a really good hedge, right, I already did the video on this, it's on the playlist, if cryptocurrencies were a great hedge against bad times, why is everything here going down? Right, you know, I even realized watching Greg's video, I think yesterday or his video from two videos ago, he actually said it correctly. Everything is a derivative of the debt market. I'm kind of surprised he didn't put two and two together. Yeah, every yeah, cryptocurrency only has value because of the debt market because the Fed keeps printing money. So does the stocks, right? So does like uh, commodities like stuff. So, but I've been st uh, stocking up on food, you know, here, here little by little. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, I do know that some people, for some reason, get kind of annoyed when I make this type of video, but which doesn't make sense because it's the same as before, except it's a crypto video plus the stock markets, but now I'm splitting up the videos to make it easier for everyone. So, I don't know. I've always disliked one thing about crypto because everyone's just kind of like an asshole. So it's like, all right, then just go lose all your effing money then, all right? It's like, why did I lose all my money in uh, DeFi? Yeah, it's because, you know, like people like me tell you what's going to happen. You unsubscribe or unfollow or you just leave a stupid comment. It's pretty rare, but it happens. And then I just get annoyed because you're just going to lose all your money. It's like, all right, then just lose all your money then, you stupid idiot. So I'm talking to the people who unfollow, right? Because I tell you, I tell you the truth. It even says in my U chat YouTube channel description, you can click the about tab, which no one ever clicks, probably except me. Yeah, I tell it, I tell it to you like it is, because I don't want, because I want you to make money, because I want to make money, right? Greg Manorino wants you to make money, and I don't want to get killed when, you know, this whole shit show, you know, starts spraying itself all over the place, right? It's gonna be nasty, all right. And that's probably putting it lightly, all right? Because I actually haven't been to this website in a long time. I didn't actually realize that these numbers were also going down. So yeah, it's 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 already bad. And it's going to get more bad. I just let's just matter how much bad. All right. Well, I think it's going to be disastrous for sure. So. All right. Let's see. Uh, you know, let's see what they do. I'm sure at some point, you know, the Fed will come in and buy this all back up and you know we'll we'll live in paradise for another three weeks all right all right see you all tomorrow all right i'll be uh you know we'll uh you know we'll see oh that's the other thing too a lot of crypto projects are just not popping up like i don't see it i don't see that many more titano style projects coming out anymore yeah that's because everything sucks right now okay everything sucks right now especially crypto and debt markets and all that all right, see you all tomorrow. Thanks.